Aloha, e como mai? Welcome to Kupono Music Studio. My name is Marty Kluth, and today we are going to learn another song using triads. All right. Now, in our last video, we started exploring something called the 12 bar blues. Let's review that for just a moment. The 12 bar blues is a pattern of 12 notes, and we're going to be doing it in the key of C. So those notes are C, C again. C a third time, and C four times. That's the first section of our form for this song. Then we go up to the note F, and we play that pattern twice. Then we go back down to the note C, and we play it again there twice. Then we're going to go all the way up to G and do a pattern one time. Then we'll come right next door to the note F and do one pattern there. Then we come back down to C, and do a pattern there, and then in the last space of the 12 bar blues, we can either do another C pattern or an ending or a transition to take us to a different section. Okay, so that's our form for the song, the 12 bar blues. Now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to put some patterns into that form to create this song, and the song is called the Clappin' Boogie. All right, so this is a fun one to play. It involves some clapping, and with this song, we're gonna start by learning the left hand pattern first. All right, so let's have a look at that. Now I'm gonna be way down here on this C that is two C's below middle C, which is where our right hand has been playing for the last of our videos here. So we're gonna be way down here on this C, and we call this C low C because it's pretty low. So we're gonna start our pattern with a five finger on that C, and then the first thing we're gonna do after we do that is we're gonna clap because it's called the clap and boogie. So here's what that looks like. Okay, so that's the first thing of what we do. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the left hand up a few notes to the note G. And we're gonna try that with the three finger, the middle finger. We're next gonna stretch up to this black note at the top of this group of three. This note is called B flat, and we'll get more into what that is called in a later video. But for now, just use that black note at the top of the group of three. So we play G, and then we play B flat. We're gonna do it again, G, B flat, and then we're gonna finish with our thumb on the next C, okay? So this is one pattern. Let's look at the whole pattern together. C, then we clap. G, B flat, G, B flat, C, okay? Now, the key thing with the clap is not to let your other hand get too far away. Otherwise, it makes it hard if you're clapping way far away from where your left hand is. So keep your right hand fairly close to your left hand so that you can clap easily. All right, now you can also use an alternate fingering. After the clap, you can, if you want, use your number four finger on the G and go four, two, four, two, one, okay? You can use either three on that note or four on that note, whichever one feels more comfortable for your hand, okay? I'm gonna continue using three. So what we're gonna do now, now that we know the pattern, we're gonna put that pattern into the 12 bar blues form. So here we go. We're gonna start on C. C, then we clap. G, B flat, G, B flat, C. Now we do it a second time. C, clap. And after we play the thumb, we do it a third time. Clap. Try to keep your rhythm steady. One more time, fourth time, clap. There we go. Now that we've done it four times, we're gonna take our pinky up and we're gonna move it to the note F and then we're gonna do the exact same pattern on the note F. Let's look at it. We play the five finger on F, then we clap. Now this time we're coming to the note C, and our next finger is going to use this black note here in the group of two black notes. This note is called E flat, but for now, we're just gonna let that two finger B 
be on that black note right there. And we do those two notes twice, and then we play our thumb right next door on F, just like we did in the last pattern. Let's do it again. F, then you clap. C, E flat, C, E flat, F. Now that we've done it two times on F, we're gonna bring it back down to C. And clap. And one more time on C. Now we're all the way on to the third line of our pattern. We're gonna move our left hand five finger up to the note G and we're gonna play the pattern on G and then we clap. We're gonna bring our three finger all the way up to the note D and this time when we stretch out our two finger we're going to use another white note so no black notes in the G pattern. We're going to play D and F twice and then our thumb will slide right in there on G. Now that we've done it once on G we're going to go back next door and play it on F and clap. After we do the F, we're going to take it all the way back down to C and clap. Now in this last space, we're going to do a transition. We're going to play that C and then we're going to clap three times. Clap, clap, clap. Okay? That is the full form all the way through the 12 bar blues pattern in this clapping boogie okay so now you try it pause the video and see if you can put this left hand pattern together and then restart when you're ready did you try it awesome all right let's get on to the next variation of this pattern okay so for the first section we clapped one time for the second section we're gonna learn how to clap two times all right so we gotta clap a little faster Let's take a look at it. Still doing the left hand walking bass pattern. We start with C, then two claps. And we finish the pattern the same way. Let's do a second one. Two claps. And we're gonna do it a third time. Two claps. And a fourth time. There it is. Now we're gonna move up to F and do it on F. F, two claps. Our claps are just a little bit faster. And now after two Fs, going back to C. And try to keep your rhythm very steady while you play. All right, now we're to the last line of the blues form, so that means it's G, two claps. But then we're going right next door to F. And finally, back to C. And now here's our transition again. Clap, clap, clap. There it is, okay? So that's the second variation in the clap and boogie, all right? Now you try it. Pause the video and see if you can fit two claps into that pattern. Restart when you're ready. Did you try it? Awesome. All right, now let's add some chords to this because we said at the beginning that what we were gonna do is we were gonna add some triads to this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. We're gonna add the triads in the right hand. So let's take a look at the right hand for a moment. Now the right hand is right here on middle C, all right, in the usual location with one finger per note. We're gonna play our chord right there with the one finger, the three finger, and the five finger all at the same time to create our chord as we learned in a previous video. Now the way that we fit triads into this song is we play a very simple pattern of long, short, short. That's all you do. You can say it while you play it. Long, short, short. Okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert these chords into the left hand pattern 
in the place where the clapping goes, all right? So the first variation, we played the first note, and then we did one clap. Second variation, we did two claps. Third variation, we're going to do triads in the right hand instead of claps, okay? So we're going to start with the C chord, and we're going to play it at the exact same time as we play our five finger in the left hand. So it'll go like this. Long, short, short. And then we just finish that left hand pattern like we've done every other time. Let's do it again. Long, short, short. Here's a third time. And of course, we're going to do it a fourth time. Okay, now here's the part where we move up to F. So the left hand moves up to F, and the right hand thumb moves to F too, and we continue with the same pattern. Long, short, short. And finish the left hand pattern. Do a second one. Right here, what are we going to do? Transition back down to C. And we just keep that long, short, short pattern in the right hand. Do a second C. Excellent. Now we're going to move all the way up to the note G. Both the left hand five finger and the right hand thumb are going to be on G. And we play long, short, short. Then we finish that right left hand. Now move next door to F. Long, short, short. Now we're going to do something extra special right here. We're going to put a fancy ending on this. Okay, so what was that? That was nothing like what we've done previously. So let's learn how to do this ending. We're going to look at the left hand first. So the left hand had just did a pattern on G, a pattern on F, so we're coming back to C for our ending. We're going to play that C, and then we're going to stretch our forefinger up a note to E, but then next finger goes on the very next note F, next finger goes on the very next note F sharp, and then the thumb is here on G, but we want to continue all the way up to the C. That's three more notes, so we're going to cross over with our three finger onto the next note A and play three, two, one. Okay, then we're going to come back down to C and play a pinky on five finger and a one finger at the same time. Take a look at the entire left hand pattern. Stretch the four, then three, then two, then one, cross over, three, two, one, leap back down, and play the five and the one together. That's the left hand. Now let's get the right hand. Let's have a look at the right hand. Now right hand just did long, short, short on the G. It moved next door and did long, short, short on the F. And where that left us was it left us with our five finger on the note C. So we're actually going to leave our, our right hand right there. We're going to start with that five finger in the right hand. And then we're going to do the same thing you did in the left hand. We're going to stretch that four finger, but we don't have to stretch it as far. We're only going to stretch it to this black note B flat. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to sneak in on the very next note A. Then we're going to sneak right next door on the very next note G sharp. And then our thumb is going to be right next door on the very next note G. But once we get there, we can just walk up to C. Just like that. And then what we do is we're going to leap back down to the middle C position and play a standard chord right there. So here's what the right hand looks like all together. Five, stretch the four. Now right next door. Right next door. Right next door. Walk up to C. And chord. All right. The last thing we have to do is we got to figure out how to put them together. Let's figure out how to put them together. 
The nice thing about this ending is that they use the exact same finger numbers at the same time. So we're gonna start with five on low C and five up here on what we call treble C and we're gonna walk towards each other. Five, then stretch the four, next door three, next door two, next door one, and then walk up to C. Then I come back to the starting place and play a little chord to finish it, all right? Now you try it. Pause the video and let's get those chords integrated into the variation and try out this ending. And come on back when you're ready. All right, did you try it? Fantastic. Let's put it all together, all right? So we have three different variations uh, of this song. We have a variation that uses one clap. We have a variation that uses two claps. And we have a variation that uses chords in the pattern long short short. So let's put the entire thing together from the beginning, starting with the left hand walking bass line. clap and boogie and that song can be so fun so I want you to try it and go ahead and uh, challenge yourself to get these patterns in your hand even that little bit of a difficult ending pattern there where the hands walk together just keep trying it and get the patterns in your hand and then as you find that you get the patterns in your hand and you're more comfortable playing it challenge yourself to push your speed a little faster so that you know you can get a little bit of a different sound on it let me show you what that sounds like when we play it a little faster
want you to shake that cord around a little bit at the end there. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that's a super fun thing to do. So I want you to give this a try and see what you can do with it. There's all kinds of ways that you can vary this. You could put, try to put three claps in there, or you could clap in a different rhythm, or you could change the rhythm to the chords, or you could try a different kind of an ending where you slide your finger up the piano or down the piano. So that's a bunch of fun things that you can do with that. So just work slowly to begin with until you feel like you've got the pattern in your hands. And then once you've got the pattern in your hands, push yourself to do it faster and have a lot of fun with this song. Mahalo for learning with us today. If you haven't already, please click subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll be the first to know about our new videos. We invite you to like and share this video. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram, so follow us there for regular updates on what's new at Kupono Music Studio. If you'd like to continue learning with us, click join and become a member so you can access all of our videos for any ability level. YouTube and Patreon members get added benefits like lesson documentation, bonus videos, and more. And check our website for all the latest information about programs at our studio in Maui, Hawaii. All the links are in the video description. Come make music with us anytime. Aloha.